last couple of days, we've been trying to corral a stray white pit bull named Phantom into our play yard enclosure. Elise, do you see him still? We left food out for him inside the fence, but he always waits until we're long gone before he eats. The only time he comes out long enough for any of us to see him is during our nighttime dog walks. He seems to be very interested, almost playful with other dogs. If we walk and she walks straight into the play yard, you can just whoosh. <laughs> Hopefully it'll go like that. So I asked Sydney, one of our workers, to bring out Rupert, one of our most social pit bulls, to see if we can lure him out of the dark. We need to make sure all of our employees know to like, oh, shut the he's right there, I'm not kidding. Oh my God, you guys need to move right now. Go in the, Shh, go in there, go in there, go in there. All I could think about was getting everyone out of sight and into the car so we didn't spook the dog. Turn the light off. Oh my God, yes, 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 yes. I'm hoping that if Rupert can get him interested in play, Phantom might join him in the play yard and then Marcel can run behind him and close the gate. sat on Lizzie's keys and set off the car alarm. Damn it. Obviously, Phantom was spooked, and he took off. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I asked Sydney to follow Phantom with Rupert to see if Rupert could get his attention again. Just keep walking. Turn around and walk the other way. Here we go, here we go. Hold OK. On. Drinking water out of a puddle. Try and like jog a little bit and see if he follows you, and then yeah, try and like. He turned around. He is turning around to follow you. I think so. Like jog. Go back towards here. We can see you. Just walk straight into the play yard. I'm gonna hang up right now. Straight back, and we're gonna try and shut it. He's gonna get scared. I gotta get, bring Rupert this way. You come this way, You, Sydney, you come this way. Right when Marcel slammed it shut, the dog started panicking. Sydney, yes, you come out with Rupert. Get him out, hurry up, shut this. I'm just scared he's gonna break out. I have him. You're okay, you're okay. Set the crate down right here. Okay, set it down, you're okay. Go grab the blanket out of your car real quick. If I need to grab something to shove them with. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do, baby doll. I know it's scary. It's okay. It's a deuce. Good boy, Rupert. You're magic. Pull Rupert back a little bit. Come on. Ooh, you tried to bite me. Okay. You're okay, baby. You're okay. I know you're scared. Give me the blanket. You're okay. Come on. You're okay. It's okay. Nope. You're fine. Got him. I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm sorry. No one got bit. It was a massive relief to finally get this dog in a crate. I'm shaking a little. I mean, we've been trying to catch this dog for a while now. Hi, honey. I'm anxious to see what his temperament's like once he settles in and calms down. In the meantime, I'm just glad he's safe. Hi, buddy. Here we go. No need to cry. You're okay. No need to cry. The more I pet him, the more I can feel his body start to relax. It was like he just needed someone to tell him that it was gonna be okay. 
All right. Hi, got a new buddy. one, huh? Hey, cutie. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Look at you. Aw. Where'd you get this one from? We could not catch him for the life of us. Really? He was terrified anytime I get near him, he'd start barking and take off. If you would have told me when I was trying to catch this dog that this is how he would be acting, I probably wouldn't have believed you. He's really cute. I didn't think that he was going to come around this quickly and already be like. He's just got a good, he was just shy. Yeah, he was scared. You're good probably, dog. You're probably the first nice dog. people he met. Yeah. I think it speaks volumes for the resilience of pit bulls. When they're really good like that and they don't have very much socialization, you know, it's, it's a good sign that it's going to be a good dog. He's pretty young. I know he looks. He's really. Good. That's what we were just talking about. He's, just because he's had a little rough. His. In Louisiana, we have a lot of mosquitoes, and mosquitoes are the um, vectors or the what carries the actual heartworm. Most all dogs end up positive that that Villalobos springs in. Unfortunately, he uh, he got snappy with me, so just be careful. Okay. Good boy. That's such a good baby. You're okay. I know you're scared right now. You're so good. All right, well, you know, I think we'll just have to see what the heartworm and the fecal and all that come out. But he looks, you know, typical, just rough right now, just from Need not being cared TLC. for. Good boy. And neutered, of course. That's the thing that I. That's it. Holy Done. cow. He's heart and negative. For today. Yes. Maybe all the fleas were keeping Yay! When Dr. K told me that he was heartworm negative, my jaw dropped. That almost never happens. Yay! I guess not even the mosquitoes could catch this dog. Hi, a boy. Yeah, I think he's gonna be awesome. What makes Phantom special is is his ability to trust humans so soon after you know him being astray and uh, he's come right around. If you want to leave him, we can neuter him. Yeah, let's let's get it done. I'm leaving him at the vet today so he can get neutered. She's gonna clean out his ears. Bye, bud. Oh, All let's right, go. Thank you. I mean, Phantom showed really quick progress, so in my head, the fact that he already likes dogs, he's already trusting of us, is a really good sign that we can get him a home quickly.